Daddy do all right? <laughs> the true you, the real you, however, is not like that. It's way more powerful, thank God. <laughs> and you, <laughs> God, are in a different relationship to it entirely. Oh, God, I don't drink, I don't smoke, okay? Uh, <laughs> It is more of a discovery mode than a creating mode, at least to begin with. You've got to clear away the crap to find this you. You don't have to go transform into it or create it or even go find it. No, 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 no. It's already there in its entirety. We've just got it all covered up with all kinds of crap. And then the Illuminati or the dark side got a hold of us <laughs> and took the process a step or two further until we quite created this false self that we go around thinking is us. Well, you go around thinking is you. I'm through with that shit. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Okay. I must be just projecting all over you guys. That's what it is. Okay. Well, let me tell you something. Who the hell am I? Unless you're quite happy. Well, now this is true. Unless you're quite happy with each and every decision you make and each and everything that happens or comes your way, you haven't uncovered it yet. This real you, this cosmic being, is powerfully content, deeply joy-filled, and happy in every moment. <clears throat> this being that you are is actually love incarnate, but we're probably not quite ready to go there yet. So let's stick with the basics to get a firm footing uh, into what, I don't know, but let's go for it. The rest will just come all on its own. <laughs> oh, no, that's rich. It's really not all as hard as we imagine. <laughs> it's already done for us. So that's a bummer. <laughs> you see, there's literally nothing we have to do to get this. <laughs> no, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I was just born this way. <laughs> Oh, God. Okay. <clears throat> Come on. Wake up and hear me. I really wrote this. Wake up and hear me. We are this. <clears throat> How do you go get what you already are? Nah, that's the dark side's way to lure us out from center, my friends. So, let's stop falling for it and just center down, okay? Okay then, so centering down about a million times a million a day is what this looks like. <clears throat> You've already all done it once you set the intent, but it appears or manifests as a process, usually that's 3D. <laughs> So that's what it looks like. Please note here, this distinction between mind and heart, it's a legitimate one. Intent has done the job. That's heart. Mind comes along and says, well, what does that look like? I want to know. That's head. See the difference? I do. And if you don't, you're not in heart. Set her down. Okay, <laughs> I'll give a preview of the next step or stage of becoming real. Oh, I bet you just can't wait to be like me. Just get to grow up and be just like this ass shining in front of you here. Maybe not, huh? 
And that's to begin not only to abide in heart space, in this sacred center, but to begin to both speak and act from there as well. <clears throat> this is an odd one at first, and uh, much more challenging. Know why? Because usually when we are speaking and acting, we're in the head. That's where we're coming from. And that's why we're not real. Not coming from the real space. Do you see? <laughs> if not, please ponder this and do it from center. Do it from art space, okay? It's important that you get this. It's a major distinction. It is also the reason, though I don't like that word, behind why many people fail to make their path real, <clears throat> to make it a living, breathing path. They think they can retain the headspace, yet come from heart. Sorry, ain't happening. Okay, that's enough and way past enough for now. No, that's enough for now. And why do I say this? Because it's different. Once you begin to abide in heart space, you just can't race and rush through things, points, and concepts the way the mind does anymore. That's all such bullshit. Uh-uh. Nope. Gotta slow way down. Time to be having some fun. Heart space is deep, my friends, and you're deep too. But maybe, maybe, like I was, you're a bit disjointed before fully awakening. <clears throat> we either all are or we were, so there's no shame in that. Just be real with you. And remember, it is what it is before you discover and take on your great power. And trust me, you are an extremely powerful being of light. Before we do that, we have some real train, training to go through. It can't be avoided. I can just see myself sitting in a corner with a dense cap on my head. No, you may not pass go, collect 200, and keep moving. Not if you want to find your real self. It's not cheesy that way. Oh, God, it's not cheap. Oh, God, what have I done here? It is both deep and priceless, the pearl of great price. Oh, Lord. So just keep centering down. Just do that. Just give it whatever time and space it takes to manifest in the physical world your heart's intent to be real, to find and unite with higher self. Every effort, every little one that we make counts. <clears throat> Nothing is wasted. None of it. You know why? Every little effort is a prayer. Do you see? It is the way you are literally showing Source that you are serious about this, this intent that you've set to unite with light and to join with higher self. This is the process of aligning self with that self. Begin to see yourself through Source's eyes, dear ones. Begin to be aware of how very dear you are, how loved. Regard yourself highly. God does. Source does. You're becoming one with that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So you do, too. Your real self already does. So connect with that. Till next time, then. <clears throat>